five. A pandemic restriction they begin to loosen up this summer. Holiday plans begin to take shape. One of the Metro's most sacred military sites plans an entire day of Memorial Day events, all of which have COVID-19 safety front and center. Fox 4 Sean McDowell is working for you live outside the World War One Museum. Christelle, Memorial Day might be the most sacred day, the most celebrated day, certainly around this museum, especially given the COVID-19 forced everyone here to take a year off. Uh, you know, get togethers like the one we're talking about here, well, it's going to happen this coming Memorial Day weekend when hot air balloons are due to light up the sky for a set of festivities. Well, they're conducted with safety in mind. The pandemic is just beginning to ease up on us. And as it does, the World War I Museum and Memorial takes new COVID restrictions in mind as plans for Memorial Day are made. We still need to be very careful, but the restrictions are beginning to lift. Matthew Naylor is the museum's president. He expects these grounds to be busy on May 30th when Balloon Glow welcomes a large Sunday night crowd to the museum's 47 acre property. Live music and food trucks will be joined by tethered hot air balloons. We need to find fun ways for us to come together that continue to be safe. Really, the only way we're going to get the pandemic fully under control is to keep looking after one another. New restrictions, as introduced by Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas on Monday, make this socially distance event possible. Naylor makes reference to the Spanish flu epidemic of 1918, saying history has taught us to respect restrictions and the science behind them. I think we all need to stay uh, vigilant. Not everyone has been vaccinated. Dr. Sarah Boyd is an infectious disease expert with St. Luke's Health System. The Center for Disease Control released guidelines this week recommending that vaccinated people should still wear masks at large outdoor gatherings. If you're vaccinated and masked and able to socially distance, that would be a much uh, safer group gathering than maybe we've been able to have in the last year and a half of this pandemic. Now, speaking of Memorial Day, celebration at the station will not happen again this year. Naylor told me earlier that event draws 50,000 people, and there's just no way to do that safely amid a pandemic. However, a number of ceremonial events that are usually scheduled for Memorial Day Monday, they will happen at the World War I Museum and Memorial as scheduled. And by the way, the folks at St. Luke's Health System asked me to mention that they have opened COVID vaccine vaccinations to everybody 16 and older and not just their regular hospital patients. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you live.